So this video is for any of you who may have Googled the relatively obscure inquiry of hair in ear or how a hair is getting buried in your ear. And the reason we're doing this video is because just a few hours ago, one of my dear friends slash sorority little sis Jenna, who's driving right now, hey, <laughs> um, had a like I just had really intense ear pain starting last night and so she went into the urgent care because it was hurting that badly and she couldn't figure out what was in there. She tried to like go in there and see if she could fish anything out. It just made it hurt worse. Ibuprofen didn't help and so she goes in and the urgent care woman looks in there and is like, oh, you have a hair stuck in there. And she's like, what do you mean you have a hair stuck? Like I have a hair stuck in my ear. And she's like, well, it's kind of lodged in there and it's in kind of a, a tricky place. I would send you to one of our other um, like PAs or something here, or doctors to have it taken out. But if you go in there with some more intense um, medical instruments and given the location, you can risk puncturing your eardrum and you may never get your hearing back if they do that with such intense instruments. So that's obviously like, oh, great. But luckily they were able to fit her into a specialist today so we just got done at the specialist, but before the specialist, of course, like your head's hurting, you're trying to figure out how you have this hair in your ear, whether or not it's gonna end up puncturing your eardrum if they take it out. You're kind of freaking out, trying to figure out why. So she was searching like hair in ear or like black hair growing in your ear. Like why would that happen and cause problems and couldn't find anything in the search inquiry. So this is why we're doing the video. Come to find out there were three hairs in there, not just one, but three. And they were probably from her dachshund because she lives with a little dachshund dog. And he, the doctor even mentioned like, hey, have you had a haircut recently? Because apparently like those, those kind of thicker, sharper little hairs, if they end up in your ear and you have wax in there, it can start drawing it into your ear and growing into your ear and causing a decent amount of irritation, which is what happened. So she just got three dachshund hairs pulled out of her ear. But you're feeling better already, yeah? Yeah, it's better. so much better. So that's good. And it's just weird. So if you've got hair in your ear, it might just be some pet hair. Or even if like, if anything little like that gets caught in your ear, apparently your ear can just start ha attaching onto it and having it assimilate into your head and that causes pain. So don't freak out. It's going to be okay. Just go to the doctor and have it removed. He also said if you do want to try anything at home to get it out yourself before you go to the doctor. Uh, that you might try irrigating it with vinegar and or alcohol. And he's actually one of the only ear doctors, like ear, nose, and throat doctors that is okay with using Q-tips in your ear. He's like, of course, you don't want to push anything in with the Q-tip, that's not the point. As long as you use a twisting motion with the Q-tip to try and like latch onto whatever is surrounding your ear, like even just the wax to pull it out and draw it out, then that's okay. So apparently vinegar, um, alcohol are both kosher, and if you can be like crafty with the Q-tip, you can use a Q-tip. So yeah, good luck if you have anything in your ear. I hope you feel better soon. We love you. Goodbye. Say we love you. Goodbye. We love you. Goodbye. <laughs>